What's going on everybody? So today is a really special day for me because Power Slave Exhumed has finally released from Night Dive Studios. So those who are unaware, Night Dive Studios is a company that remasters old first person shooters and stuff from the 90s. They've done um, Shadow Man and I think Turok 1 and 2. So I've been waiting for this game for several months now and it's even more special because it's actually my birthday today so I'm pretty pumped to get into this and play it. I've actually hopped in a couple of times just to kind of test things out and see how it's going. So let's go ahead and get started, overwrite one of these. We're going to run it on normal because we're a wuss and we suck. So this game is more or less like a Duke 3D with a Ancient Egypt skin on it, which in my opinion there's nothing wrong with that. It's pretty cool actually. Um, you got a lot of the stuff from the Doom engine and the the Duke engine that improved on the Doom engine. One of your first enemies here, just a little scorpion. These blue balls actually replenish the blue meter, which in this game is your ammo, which is kind of strange. You don't actually pick up ammo, if I remember correctly. Another enemy, a little spader. Uh, got breakable objects. Typical boomer shooter fanfare, exploding barrels. And the red one is is your health. I do remember later on in this game there being a lot of platforming sections which uh, can be very tedious. So we'll worry about those when we get to them. Just your first level, typical first level in here. Kind of showing you the ropes. Take care of these explodey boys. Excuse me. I do like a lot of the graphics though. It's, even back in the day when I played this and it was, you know, nowhere near as high definition, I still really enjoyed it, so yeah, I, I was really pumped for this game to come out. Night Dive does an amazing job with what they do. There are other games that I really wish they would remaster, particularly uh, Turok 3, I wish they would do. I was just, I was so excited when I found out they were doing this one. So I do have some very fond memories of this game. So you have a map with tab, typical stuff. You also have an inventory screen. Look at your map. Turn it on and off. Look at your weapons, artifacts. Those are kind of your inventory items I mentioned earlier. I think um, they'll help you traverse the levels. Gonna go in here and talk to the old man. As you can see, I'm almost out of ammo now. And this is uh, King Tutankhamun. Welcome, mortal. I am King Ramses. Oh, my bad, Ramsey. Sorry, my sir. My body was made to rest here. My name was not forgotten, and my what was your name again? was blessed in the realm of the dead. For centuries I lived in splendid afterlife, among the most powerful gods of the world. Now, my eternal sleep has been broken by a savage race of creatures known as the Kilmat. These beasts have stolen my mummified corpse and are draining the power from it to use as their own. If they succeed, chaos will spread across the earth like a terrible wave of fire, burning all living things in its path. Mm -hmm. The world as we know it will die a painful death. It is you, Great One, that must do justice for the sake of mankind and shun this evil. Seek out the six treasured artifacts that have once adorned my tomb, given to me by the most powerful gods of Egypt. They too have been stolen and scattered across the valley. 
and are highly guarded. These artifacts hold great powers and will help you on your journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To begin your search, travel to Karnak and cross the high bridge on the east side of the village. Here you will find a great sanctuary that holds the first of the six mighty artifacts. Ooh. If you happen to lose your way on your travels, return to this tomb and I will give you guidance. Yes, sir. Fear not the power of the Kilmat. Instead, embrace the powers of the Egyptian Yeah, they gods. suck. They will help carry you to victory. Love you, bye. So that's kind of the story of the game. It's really simple, Ooh. typical stuff. Once again, I, I really miss these days of video games. Just a real simple story. Just get right into the action. This is the final boss, the camel. So keep an eye out for him. Uh, this is actually the level exits. So I do believe this game is kind of similar to like a Metroidvania where you have to collect these artifacts and then retrace your steps, go back to previous levels to unlock areas of those levels that you couldn't get to before. Um, so we're going to continue on in the next video and head to Karnak. See you there. Love you. Bye.